Hi, today is August the 14th. I can't believe it just speeds by, doesn't it? 2020. I'm going to do a very, try to do a quick reading um, on a missing young lady. Um, her name is Rosalita Fay, and I think it's pronounced Longi or Longi um, out of Washington. And she disappeared in 2015 when she was 23 years old. She was really young. She was having problems with substance abuse. And she went to her grandmother's house, and unfortunately, she was under the influence. And her grandmother, with the best of intentions, um, but who has since really changed her mind uh, about telling someone, uh, trying to give them the tough love of, you can't be here when you're under the influence, um, demanded that she leave. And unfortunately, she's never been seen since. And um, unfortunately, many times these cases aren't don't end well but I, I wouldn't I wanted to look into it so let's take a look I'll turn down my phone because I thought I had that turned down okay so her name is Rosalita Bay Longhi I'm gonna guess that that's the pronunciation um this was in Washington, Wapato, I think. I hope I'm saying that correctly. In 2015, and I believe it was June um, 2015. So I just want to tap into her energy and see if she's yet, what happened to her, if she might yet be alive. Um, Rosalita. Let me just see. Rosalita, I believe. Longy. That she also went as as Rose. From what I read. So let's take a look. Okay. Well, I get, I get a feeling like she was out on her own and she burned a lot of bridges already. And so she's having to go back out into society. Um, she's looking, I think, was looking for a home, a place, definitely that night, um, to rest, I think, and to just... avoid the world, um, to take shelter in. And as we know that she went to her grandmother's house and, you know, a family, and unfortunately, because of past problems, her grandmother insisted that she leave because she was under the influence of drugs. And I can understand the dilemma There's been so much grieving and so much hardship and chaos caused by the addiction aspect that shows up very clearly here. And she may have been in some kind of trouble. Um, she may have uh, been getting up to things to get her drugs that would get her in trouble with people. And I, I see that her addiction caused her family a lot of problems, and her, and her. She lost a lot, a lot, because of addiction. Those three overturned cups are representative of a considerable loss that is um, irretrievable. It will never, can never be the same again. Um, 
so it shows that the, even at only 23 years of age, this young lady must have lived a life that was very difficult. I believe um, that there may have been paranoia going on with her um, and she may have just been tired of, of her situation, the way she was living. Um, I get hypervigilance here and quite possibly somebody looking for her too. Um, or rumor of. Now there's someone that knows about where she went. Um, I feel like this is information that somebody holds about her, I think, continuing to seek or why she was out seeking um, a place to stay. This could also be, I, I still feel like she was still looking for a source for to stay with. But there's somebody that has very pertinent information um, around that. Somebody yet that, that knows and they may know of somebody that offered her where, uh, that she approached or would have approached um, if her family uh, turned her down. Because it does look like my feeling with that card was, and she went on to approach somebody else after that. Um, and there's, there's someone that knows about that. There is a refusal on her part to look inward and to do to do the work that she needed to do um, to deal and manage her addiction better. I feel like she was constantly... I, I don't feel like she had a home at this point. I'm feeling like she was constantly uh, going from um, person to person, um, from place to place, that she's transient. And there's something that she's just not doing uh, or not engaging in or wasn't engaging in getting out from, from that. And it does deal with the use of will and um, with addiction, the use of one's will is difficult to say the least. And here she has a block. She was one of the, those people that where her addiction, um, she couldn't do it by herself. There are some very few fortunate people that can but I think there are more who cannot, and I think she was one who could not figure out how to um, get her willpower back directing her life instead of her addiction. She needed an intervention. Would she have gone? I don't know. I don't know. Um, You know, I'm, I'm not getting any cards that indicate death to me. Instead, I'm getting cards that make me feel like she went and look, looking of, of, of a place to stay. And looking for people that she could stay with. 
because she wasn't ready to stop using drugs. And there are people that know. There are people that know. I'm not getting death work right now um, in these cards. So I don't think that if she did pass, I don't think it was immediate. I think she went on to find another place, but just perhaps didn't feel that um, she wanted to continue to go back to family because she wasn't ready to um, deal with her addiction and she knew of the, the rules. This represents an adult female of a water sign that, or who has the components of being an, an addict. This could be her, it could be somebody that she knows that maybe has a similar problem, but who knows more about where she is. Um, this is the environment of liking substance, um, dealing, that kind of thing. This could be speaking about somebody, it could be what she's doing to get along, or, or what she's done to get along. Um, I feel like I'm being shown after she left her grandmother's that um, I don't feel I feel like she went on to, to find another place to stay I'm not being shown death but I am seeing her going and, and staying in that lifestyle and so staying away as a result at least for some time afterward. This could be family, or it could be law, or people that are, are looking for her. Um, it could be her grandmother. Um, but this also could be her. She's an air sign, an Aquarius. She's struggling, um, I think it's her, she's struggling within herself um, to get her self in order. I think she's probably living pretty rough um, because she is at struggle within herself and it, I think also the people around her often, you know, like I was saying, um, addicts can burn bridges with people. Again, I'm not really getting a sense of death, but a continued sense of movement and trying to get her stuff together, trying to get more control over, uh, She's definitely planning for the future that she's going to get this under control. Um, she wants to be able to do that yet. And she still sees and feels like she has that time um, in her life yet as a possibility. So I'm not thinking, to be honest, with this one reading that I am being shown that she has passed or anything like that. I am being shown she might be avoiding um, home because she doesn't want to keep coming back there while she's under the influence and she knows that she's not ready to stop or can't stop yet and isn't ready to get help. She still feels like she's young and has plenty of time. But it's going to have to be a thing where she realizes that when she's when she's made up her mind, when she, when she has well and made up her mind um, that her past method of trying uh, whatever she's done, that she's done with it and she's ready to do something to completely different. or when she's ready to reach back out and get in contact, when she can say that something may be more positive about what she's doing with herself. 
I see her thinking of her family, of her me of her of memories of childhood, and in particularly um, female uh, family members, mom, grandmother, aunties, that kind of thing, and people who are like family, but especially female members, and I think especially her grandmother. Um, and there's a lot of good memories that she holds on to uh, from her childhood regarding her grandmother. So I just hope that she will realize that her grandmother's not getting any younger and it would be she wants to hear from her. And it, even just to put in a call and, and somehow way let her know. Yeah, because she's living, I think she's still, I get her living out in the open, still living out in the open, still living in a way where she doesn't have a home. It, it's a lot of transition um, and a lot of moving around. So that's my reading for Rose, Rosalita. Um, I think she's still moving around. I, I don't see cards for her that indicate a loss of life but um, more that she's just not gotten in control of her addiction in the way that she would like to. And she still thinks that she's got plenty of, of time yet to tackle that issue. I don't think she wants to let her grandmother down again. I think that she depends on a lot of memories of her childhood and of her grandmother and family, female family members especially, to get her through. And I do think there are people in the community that that there is at least one person, I would say, who knows um, where she's at or that she's alive and, and um, she's just using. I hope that that is the case because there's still hope then. And I just want to see, it looks like she will eventually potentially try to get her life in order to be independent and to um, have a job maybe uh, and make a change in her life for the better with that Six of Swords. Maybe leave the environment and go to a place uh, eventually that's uh, going to be a better environment for her where she's not going to have all the connections so that she can use. That's a real possibility, the cards are saying. Um, there could be a job with a king of pentacles, beginning of a job, where she could stabilize her life. Yes, there's the uh, and then she might definitely try to reach out and, and get in touch because she's gonna, she's very homesick. But um, I do see her the, the message that she needs to pull herself together, so to speak, a bit more um, before she can is likely to contact her family. And it does look like there is hope. It does look like there is hope and that she wants her family to be proud of her. She wants, doesn't want to disgrace them. She doesn't want to embarrass them. That is honestly what I see. And I, I hope that she will reach back out and her family and her can come together and um, that she can do that. Uh, but I see her feeling that you know, she's gonna have to do it on her own terms. I don't get any cards of her as having passed and I must say I'm kind of surprised because a lot of times unfortunately that is what I do get but in this case there's something really positive and I'm not just saying that I got numerous cards that indicate she's just not ready that she doesn't want to embarrass she wants to be able to have her family to be proud of her and to be in um, a, a better way of, of life than she currently is. Okay, so she would be 
that was 28. She would be about 28 at this time. Um, so I hope that she's soon ready to do that because I, I'm not yet getting any cards, like I said, that indicate that, that she is not with us anymore. I'm getting that she is, but she's struggling. Okay, so that was my reading, and um, please hit the thumbs up if you like this kind of content, and uh, or if you just like the reading. I appreciate it, and think of subscribing if you haven't. Thank you so much. Have a good day.